Yo, what's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls, bringing you guys my first Infinite Warfare tips and tricks video, where I want to talk about what the color bar under the gun in the kill feed is, and how you can use it to your advantage. So in the beta, it really wasn't too clear what this was, but it actually is the specific variant of the gun that's being used. And the color scheme goes, the common variants are gray, just like the base guns, so base guns and common guns are both represented as gray. The rare variants are blue, the legendary ones are purple, and the epic ones are orange or yellow. So just to give you guys two examples, in the first example here, I get killed by this kid named Speedster, and in the kill cam we can see he's using the KBR Radiant variant, which is a rare variant, and the color is blue. And if I go back and actually show you a frame right before I die in the kill feed, under his gun is a blue color bar, which corresponds to that variant. In the second clip, I get killed by a guy using the FHR-40 Havoc variant, which is a legendary variant, and the corresponding color is purple. And again, when I respawn and look at the bar under his gun in the kill feed when he killed me, it's actually purple. So it does definitely correspond to this variant. So you can definitely use this information to benefit you in a lot of different situations, but you need to know what each gun variant is and what each specific perk is on each gun variant. So an example would be, let's say I see someone using the Reaver shotgun with the orange or yellow color under it, which means it's the epic variant, and the epic variant of that shotgun is the rodeo variant. The variant has two perks, the most important one of which is the surplus perk and the perk makes enemies drop these score streak packs for your entire team when that enemy is killed. So we can make a pretty good guess based on this perk that when this player kills someone on your team, enemy players are going to be rushing to where the teammate died to pick up that package. But because of that, when you see a teammate die to this player, rather than rushing to where your teammate died, which is pretty risky, it'll be much better for you to stay back and just keep an eye on, sort of defend that area where your teammate died, because you know enemies are going to be coming over and rushing to pick that up. This makes you much less likely to die because you're playing more defensively and you know exactly where the enemies are going for. Whereas if you just rushed up and tried to kill them like you normally would, it's more of a risk and you're more likely to die. And that's just one example. There's tons of different variants and perks, so there's tons of different ways you're going to be able to use this with current variants in the game and I'm sure with variants that they add in later in the game. So that's it for this video guys, just wanted to share with you guys what that color bar means under the gun and the kill feed and how you can use it to your advantage and hopefully you guys find this useful and can use it when you play Infinite Warfare. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more Infinite Warfare and Mono Warfare Remastered tips and tricks videos for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.